Hoi there everyone, this is Fates Fanboy speaking, and today I'm here by myself to try something a little different. No Inazuma 11, no Fire Emblem, no, today we are going to play some GeoGuessr. Now, some of you may already know what GeoGuessr entails, but for those of you that don't, the basic premise of the game is that you're dropped in a random location somewhere on Earth, and you have to decipher where you are by clicking and dragging your way through Google Street View. At least, that's one of the game modes that GeoGuessr has to offer. Over the years, the GeoGuessr team has implemented various ways of playing. For example, there is the trademark game mode of moving through the Street View map and trying to figure out exactly where you are, but there's also more simple game modes, such as Country Streak, where you simply have to guess the country you're in rather than the exact position. And to offset this, there's also a Battle Royale mode, where you compete against other players to find out where you are in the fastest time possible. Now, of these various game modes, I will be playing Country Street today. Why? Because it's a relaxing mode, and I think it'll make for a good introduction to the game that is GeoGuessr, if I am to make more videos on it in the near future. But of course, I'm not just playing regular old Country Streak, no no no. Instead, I've taken some inspiration from other GeoGuessr YouTubers out there. Though, given I can't exactly hold a candle to any of them in terms of knowledge or skill, I've decided to water down the format they often apply to themselves. See, one of the most popular categories in GeoGuessr right now is the no moving, no panning, and no zooming category. And what that means is basically that you have no movement options at all. You get one still image, and that's it. You have to figure out where you are in the world. But again, since I'm no expert by any means, I opted to only limit myself to panning and zooming. Meaning I cannot move, so I only get one 360 degree image, and that's it. Having said that, I think it'll be better to show you the rest, rather than to painstakingly explain it. So let's jump into a round of Country Streak. Alright, so we're here on the Country Streak menu, and as you can see, right now, I've still allowed default settings to be used, meaning there's no time limit, moving, panning, and zooming are all allowed. But that'll change with the click of a button. We're not going to set any time limits yet. I think that's a step too too high, too far for me right now. So as I said, we'll just go with no moving. And there we go. And here we are. This is our first scenery, our first task, if you will. As you can see, I can only pan around me and zoom in. That's all I get. And before I get into the specifics, of how to decipher where we are. I'll set some basic goals for myself. I think if I manage to get a streak of five, uh, I think that'll be a feasible goal for this episode. So either we'll play until we reach a streak of five, or until I feel like I should probably give up all hope. So with that being said, let's get into it. Okay, so the first thing we can look at is the surroundings. So if mountains in the background, electricity pylon in the background, but they don't really tell us much. Now I'd say the most telling thing here is the position of the sun. And why is that? Well, there's a basic rule of thumb that states that if the sun is in the northern hemisphere, then you are most likely in the southern hemisphere. Why? Don't ask me. I have no clue. I just know it works. So we're going with it. And judging from the compass in the lower left, this would mean that we are in the northern hemisphere. So the next thing we can look at is the road, and I think the most telling feature here is probably the yellow dashed line. Now, the yellow dashed line, to my knowledge, appears everywhere in the United States, as well as some parts of Southern America. Judging from those two factors, there's only a handful of possibilities. And most prominently, I would say the USA and or Mexico are good candidates for this round. Why? Because they're both in the Northern Hemisphere, they have a bit of an arid climate, and they have yellow dashed lines on their highways. So, I think our safest bet would be Mexico, since we are also driving on the right, as you can see from this truck in the distance here. And I believe Mexico drives on the right, but I may be painfully off in that regard. But we'll try anyway, we'll shoot our shot, and if it's not correct, we'll try again. But it was indeed Mexico, so there we go. That's one streak down, one country. Four more to go. Okay, so this is better. We're not just in the middle of nowhere, no, we're actually in an urban region. 
with text, that's even better. And judging from the text, okay, well, sometimes clues like these are just right in your face. So URLs and flags are probably two most potent hints you can use to deciphering in which country you are. And in this country, CZ stands for the Czech Republic. So that's exactly where we'll go. And that should be two. Yes, that is two countries down. Maybe this will be a short video. Who knows? Okay, once more an urban area. That's good. It's always a good start. Let's give a quick look around, see what we can find. Gdansk. Okay, so quite easy. This is Poland. Yes, there's Gdansk in the north. Bam. Three countries. On a roll. I might have to extend my goal to 10 countries if this keeps up. But I don't want to jinx anything, so... Okay, good. Good. White number plates. So we are in Europe. Well, not because we have white number plates, but because we have the blue badge to the side. Um, but so far, no text. So that's a bit of a bummer. But that street sign does say Calle, which is Spanish. So I would say we're in Spain. That seems like the fairest conclusion to draw here. Given we don't have many other clues, let's just go for it. Smack in the middle of Madrid. Couldn't get any better. Already at four, so it looks very likely that we may need to extend our goal here. Oof, but I may have run into something dif difficult here. See, I'm not very good at African countries, but maybe... No, they're not cutting us any slack with the car. See, the Google car usually has specific properties depending on which African country it's in, but we have no luck here. Let's see if we can decipher what this says. Oh, actually, yes. Uganda's favorite something. Well, easy enough. Let's go for Uganda. And just like that, we're at five countries. Five streak. That's, well, that's better than I could have hoped for, honestly. So with that in mind, and seeing as we haven't been going for that long yet, I suggest we try bumping it up to 10 countries. Sound good? Then let's continue. Ooh, okay. We might be hitting a roadblock <laughs> much sooner than I anticipated. But we'll see what we can do. We are in the Northern Hemisphere. And judging from the cars and the houses, I'd argue we're in a Slavic country. Oh, which is also not my forte. I find it very hard to distinguish the different Slavic countries, especially without any text, which seems to be the case here. We'll give one more quick look around, and I don't think we'll have much of a choice but to just go for it. So upon closer inspection, there's really nothing here that can help us. At least, unless I missed something obvious, which may be the case. There is some text here, I see now but it's incomplete and too far away for us to fully decipher, so... But at least I think it does confirm our suspicions that it is a Slavic country, or does it? I'm going to probably regret saying that if we happen to be somewhere entirely different. But for me, this feels like the Czech Republic again. I don't know why exactly. Well, I, I know why. It's because the Czech Republic is always my default go-to option when we are in a Slavic country. But yeah, I don't think we have much of a choice. So I'm crossing my fingers. We were not in the Czech Republic. We were in fact in Romania, which is a bit out of the way. What can you do? 
there wasn't much to go on. We didn't have any text, but we did have some text, but they were brand names, most likely. So that's where this run ends. But I think it would be, well, a little unsatisfactory to end on a loss. So I propose we go for another run and at least try to get back up to five, which should make for a good starting point for the next video, if I ever make one. So let's just go for another round. Again, no move. Let's see what we get. Okay. Okay, having some thoughts already. Now the sun doesn't help us that much, because it's kind of ambiguously north-west. Doesn't tell us much. But my primary thought right here is that this is New Zealand. Grassy hills, sunny, and you know, this is maybe cheating a little bit, but I did just finish getting a gold medal on the New Zealand map. So I kind of have the environment in New Zealand memorized by now, I'd hope at least. So I'm fairly confident in saying that this is New Zealand. And it was, at the very tippy top too. I always like looking at where I am, even if it's not really, you know, consequential for anything, for anything I do. But anyway, continuing. Alright, once again I'm having some thoughts, thinking this is probably not the United States, even though that was the first thought that popped into my head. Let's check the sun real quick. Again, it doesn't help as much, sitting comfortably in the east, which does not tell us anything. But even though the sun doesn't tell us anything, I think the severe absence of US flags should tell us something. I dare say this could be Australia, judging from the road layout, the house structure, and also just the atmosphere. I don't know what it is, but it feels it feels too bright to be the United States. Of course it could be like California or something. And sorry if this doesn't at all resemble California, by the way, I'm very oblivious very ignorant when it comes to the United States. But, as I said, let's just try Australia. I think that's our best bet here. Well, ain't that embarrassing? Now that I've successfully discarded any shred of expertise I still had, if I even had any to begin with, we can try a quick other round. And you know, if we don't get five that's fine too. I think I'll make this the last run, regardless, so that we'll be able to have a snappy video. Okay, so this one should be fairly easy. There's a URL here saying .uk, so of course we are in the United Kingdom. There we go. Second round. And we have absolutely jack shit to go off. That is great. We can check for the sun. But we can't check for the sun because it's ambiguously in the east. And yeah, this could pretty much just be anywhere from Africa, South Africa probably, to South America. Let's see. That is a car. Driving on the left, it seems. It means it could be South Africa because they do drive on the left in South Africa, I believe. But should I really try South Africa? Let's just try it. If it's wrong, it's wrong. I'll take the loss. How? No, you know what? That's enough embarrassment. I'm not going to make a fool of myself in this first video. Let's actually try seriously now and just get good RNG. That's all you have to do. You just need to get good RNG. Channel your inner RNG god. Okay, so that's a good clue. This pamphlet, Lost White Cat, Chat Blanc Perdu, which I don't need to tell you probably is French and English. So judging from that, I think we should be in Quebec, Canada. If I could only read that sign, well it says, probably says Vendre, to sell in French, or for sale in this case I suppose. So let's give Canada a try, Quebec to be exact. 
And it would appear that I am right. Montreal, in fact. Awesome. That's a better start, a way better start. But this is a pretty awful continuation. God. What is this? A safari cart? But I'm not entirely sure if this is Africa. It's probably not Africa. It's probably Asia, if I'm honest. Now, the sun would seem to be kind of in the south. And I was already leaning towards Thailand. So let's try that. Literally at the tip of Colombia, there's absolutely no way. Okay, just one more. One more, then I'll definitely finish off the video. Great, Cyrillic. I think that URL says .me, which would stand for Montenegro. Am I content with saying this Montenegro? Yes, because they do use Cyrillic and Montenegro. That is a Swiss flag. Okay, interesting. We are definitely not in Switzerland. Let's give it a go. Yes, awesome. That is exactly as I thought, and I'm glad to see it's paying off. Flags, yes, yes, good, this is what I want. Thailand. Please actually let it be Thailand. That would be great. Yes, Thai text. Great, great, great. Okay, we're going to steam through this, if we can. Yellow number plates? Oh no, this is going to be... A... Oh no. Actually... Mm. Okay, so I was for a second doubting if this was... This was going to be a, basically a coin flip between the Netherlands and Belgium, given there is both a Dutch number plate and a Belgian number plate. But I think this Dutch number plate is the only exception here. So I'd wager we're in the north of Belgium. Probably near the border with the Netherlands. And I'm going to cry if this is on the other side of the border. Well, before I go off and cry myself to sleep tonight, if you've watched up to this point, I'd like to thank you very much. I'm still kind of experimenting with this kind of format, with these videos, with this solo commentary, which is also new for me, I'm usually surrounded with other commentators, but I could get used to this, probably, if I do this more often. So if you enjoy this kind of content, these GeoGuessr videos, comment down below, let me know, leave a like, anything helps, in any case. Thank you so much, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.